Hey everybody, I thought I would jump in and do a quick Operation Get Ready for a Baby video. So, the last time we talked, um, <laughs> I was totally kind of spazzing out because my house was like in total disarray because we were moving everything around. Um, we were trying to do the garage sale, da da da. So, now things have definitely progressed. Um, the last time you saw the nursery, it was, um, the, it had been mostly cleared out and the chair rail had been put up and so now <laughs> since then um, we have done all the um, caulking and um, filling of the nail holes on the chair rail I did it I was really proud of myself because um, that's something I normally would just not do I just have Kyle do it <laughs> but I decided I was like no I want to do it I can do this and so I got on YouTube and I was like watching tutorial videos um, <laughs> Because, you know, it doesn't look like something that's that hard, but I know I've seen lots of poorly done amateur caulking jobs, so I know that people do mess it up, and I was like, I don't want it to be messed up. So, anyway, um, I went and watched tutorials, and I was like, yeah. and so then I went there, and I did it all myself, and I was just, like, really proud. I was like, yes, I'm awesome. And so, and I filled all the nail holes, and it was really cute because... Kyle was playing with Sophie and she came in and she wanted to help so we got her this little like travel bottle of lotion and she would like take some of the lotion with her finger and like go and like tap it on the wall <laughs> and then we just like wipe it away when she wasn't looking so she was like helping me it was really cute <laughs> got the paint and we got um, a kind of navy blue shade for the top of the wall and a very very bright white for the bottom and on the bottom what we did is we got the same shade white but we got a um, semi gloss to do for the baseboards and the chair rail um, and the doors and the window seal and then we got the same shade but in just a, um, a Oh, you know what, I can't remember the finish, but not glossy, but they're the same shade. So, then the painting began, yep, and um, uh, our, ch our uh, floorboards and the doors were fine, it's just that, you know, it, they were painted a separate shade, of a different shade of white than I was painting the bottom wall, so they kind of needed to be, to be redone too. So I got all the doors painted, um, the white paint we had in a... Uh, um, a low fume formula but the blue paint was not so Kyle did most of the blue painting and I would just like leave the room <laughs> and I did a lot of the all I did like pretty much all the, the chair rail and the trim and all of that so it came out really well um, so we got all of that done I'm really excited too like I think it looks so awesome you guys and it's funny because the blue is so dark um, like the pictures I was trying to take of the blue um, made the blue shade actually look lighter than it really is and so um, I took some video just so you could actually kind of get an idea of the color and it's pretty dark and then the white is really bright and it's just they look navy a dark navy blue and a crisp white they're so complimentary they're just such a good combination and I love how the room looks and it's so funny because you walk into the room and even though there's such a dark color on the top the room feels really bright and it's just because of that white that is also in there and the room just feels really just bright and fun and I just I love it sometimes when I'm taking Sophie to your room you know I'll like just open the door and peek in <laughs> just because I enjoy looking at it like it makes me excited so that's the main thing that we've been doing 
And um, other than that, we got the crib out of its box and got the crib upstairs. It's not put together yet, but it's up here ready to be put together. And we haven't put it together yet because um, I didn't like the dresser that the crib came like that came in the set. And so I need to be able to take a piece of wood from the crib to go match it <laughs> to uh, the wood shade to buy for another dresser. Because the crib is espresso, but um, it's like a brown espresso. Some, some shades of espresso look almost black. And our crib is definitely not black. Our crib is definitely just like a, a brown. So um, I just want to be able to go match it to find a dresser I like and match the wood tone. But anyway, so that's kind of next on my list is getting the dresser. And so yeah, that's like, that's pretty much all we've done in there. Um, but that was a lot. That like took a lot of time. You know, you have to put down drop cloths and do all this stuff and go mix the paint and go buy the paint and, you know, do all the trim work. And I think the only thing in there that's not finished is that um, Kyle hasn't removed the tape from the ceiling line. Um, so he has to go remove that. And... I'm going to do another coat on the window seal, the window ledge, so yay. And other than that, that's it. We got the room cleared out even more though, so all that's left in there right now is we have a mini fridge that we kind of we keep upstairs, and it's still in there. And we have um, a little ottoman that we left in there because we were using it to um, sit stuff on top of. and. I think a little step ladder and then all the painting supplies and that's it. So like we pretty much have that room cleared out and everything that needs to stay in the room while Grayson's stuff is in the closet. So that's also a great feeling. And um, <laughs> last time I had shown you that we were using our guest room to like temporarily store stuff from the office and you know we finally we got all of that stuff cleared out and whatever and <laughs> got my guest room bed like remade and, and all of it vacuumed so like it's nicer. and. Um, we already took a big bunch of stuff to Goodwill, and we are, <laughs> and Kyle and I have been going around the house and making another huge pile of stuff in our dining room to take to Goodwill again. And then, yeah, so that's it. So now, now we can get to the more fun part, which is getting the crib set up and starting to decorate the nursery, starting to fill it in. My shower is in two weeks, so um, it's not this Saturday, but it's next Saturday, and so I, you know, I'm, I'm excited because, you know, we will get, we'll probably get some things and, and I want to start putting in the nursery. So I really am pushing to have everything done before the shower so that, um, I have this nice, fresh, clean nursery to bring in, um, to start filling because whatever we don't get at the shower, you know, we'll start to go purchase ourselves. But yeah. And if you guys remember, we still haven't framed our artwork and I need to, um, go frame it and I'm going to refresh. So here's the artwork we have. If you remember, we're going to put the the two vintage airline travel posters are going to be framed and put above the bed and the other two uh, pieces are going to be framed and placed just somewhere around the room wherever I think they look nice. So that's kind of like happening and right now and now that now that we painted, now I'm going to start picking out the actual I you know had have, I bookmarked my favorite beddings and I bookmarked curtains I like and patterns and can start getting all that stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now because, you know, we're kind of, time is dwindling. <laughs> I need to get a lot of this stuff done. But at least we're at a point where it can happen. All right, guys, so that, that was it. So pretty much Operation Get Ready for Baby video consisted of just like the fact that we got the room painted. But for those of you who've done chair rails and painting and, and caulking and all of that stuff, you know that that takes time and it's kind of annoying so especially when you're painting with a really dark shade because you need to do like ugh, we had a paint and primer in one so it was thicker and we still had to do multiple coats but it was worth it because like I said I'm so happy I just love how the room looks so all right guys that's it for now and I will talk to everybody soon bye